Officials from Jacksonville International Airport and the TSA, they've got a few reminders for holiday travelers as we're almost a week away from Christmas. Yeah, can you believe it? From what you put in your checked bag to how early you should arrive, we have your guide to making traveling a breeze for the holiday season. A live look out at the airport tonight as News for Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker spoke with officials today who say they expect the number of people flying to reach pre-pandemic numbers this season. The flashlight? You're not going to get far with these items. Some saw blades, we have throwing stars. And don't forget our beloved wrench master. And these are all things that you guys have come across. Correct, yeah. yes. Some items are concerning. You know, it really makes you wonder what has crossed the mind of the person bringing this. Some items are for safety or even gifts, but they can't go in your carry on. Jacksonville International Airport officials want travelers to realize this before getting to the checkpoint. During 2021, TSA officers have stopped more than 5,000 firearms at checkpoints. 620 of these incidents have occurred in the state of Florida. 39 of the incidents occurred here at Jacksonville. We're told most of the time police will confiscate the item and arrest the person who had it. That could land you a $1,400 fine from TSA. You could also get a $500 to $3,000 fine for violating the JAX mask policy. With rising travel numbers and a new COVID-19 variant, there's more to be considered. We're treating the variant like the Delta variant and the original COVID strain. One person who travels internationally says there seems to be a disconnect. Airlines can't really tell me much about the testing and the testing centers can't really tell me much about the airlines. Do you think it would help if the airports had testing? Oh my gosh, you know, that would solve so much. Questions regarding COVID or carry on should be asked before your travel date. If not, you may slow down the lines and put a damper on your holiday plans. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. And another reminder for you, TSA says wrapped presents are not prohibited, but it's highly encouraged that you keep your presents unwrapped in case officers need to inspect them. So put them in a gift bag. Yeah.